Benevolent men have voluntarily stepped forward to obviate the consequences of this injustice and barbarity, proclaimed the Rev. Peter Williams Jr. in a historic speech about the end of the nation's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade. They have striven assiduously to restore our natural rights, to guarantee them from fresh innovations, to furnish us with necessary information, and to stop the source from whence our evils have flowed. A free black man who founded Street Phillips African Church in Manhattan, Williams spoke in front of a white and black audience on January 1, 1808, the day the United States ban on the international slave trade went into effect. The law, of course, did not end slavery, and it was often violated. Williams forced the audience to confront slavery's ugliness as he continued, its baneful footsteps are marked with blood, its infectious breath spreads war and desolation, and its train is composed of the complicated miseries of cruel and unceasing bondage. His oration further defined a black view of freedom that had been building since the foundation of the country, as when the formerly enslaved poet Phyllis Wheatley noted in 1774, for in every human breast, God has implanted a principle, which we call love of freedom, it is impatient of oppression, and pants for deliverance. 